At the heart of mechanical ventilation, there are three fundamental modes, volume control, pressure control, and pressure support. Every other mode you will encounter is either a hybrid or a modification of these three basic modes. And to make sense of any mode, we just break it down into the three key ingredients we just explained. The trigger, what start the breath, target how to deliver the breath, and cycle what ends the breath. Volume control mode or VC mode uses what we call the AC trigger, which assists control trigger. And as we explained earlier, this means the ventilator delivers a breath either when the patient initiates one or if the patient does not, the ventilator will trigger the, the backup breath or C breath. VC mode volume control use a flow target to deliver the breath, most commonly using decelerating ramp flow pattern. And, and the volume control use volume cycle, meaning the breath ends once the preset tidal volume is delivered. So when ordering VC or volume control mode, in addition to providing FI2 and P values, we need to provide the following to the respiratory therapist. The backup respiratory rate, the tidal, the preset tidal volume, the flow curve, square or decelerating, I always go with decelerating, the peak flow rate, and in most cases, the respiratory therapist will by default pick a decelerating ground flow curve and set the peak flow rate um, by themselves. A reasonable starting peak flow rate is between 40 to 60 liter per minute. Take a look at this VC or volume control mode screenshot. The trigger, as you see, is AC and that specific breath was a control breath. The backup rate is set at 18 and this is again the minimum respiratory rate the patient will have. The target is a flow target with a peak flow rate set at 44 liter per minute with a decelerating ramp curve and the breath will terminate once the 500 cc is delivered. 